You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hello, welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. The first week of June is here, the weather's warming, flowers are blooming, and nature abounds in the sunshine. Ironically, at the same time, our country bears witness to some of the most tragic and ugliest times in our history. Unnecessary deaths at the hands of law enforcement and possibly preventable deaths of those on the front lines of long-term care, the CNAs. As the country reopens, those of us working in long-term care are still fighting a battle for the lives of the residents and ourselves. It is reported there is still a shortage of PPE. Items meant for one-time use are still having to be reused for days. Government promises of PPE deliveries and testing have to date fallen short. Nursing homes and those living and working in them still feel abandoned. We cannot forget the loyal, caring, and dedicated individuals who continue to work in our nation's nursing homes 24-7. While so many were out enjoying the weekend, they were there. The CNAs were there. They were at work at the very nursing homes infected with COVID, risking their lives to provide care to others, parents and grandparents. We at NACA will not forget that sacrifice. We work every day to provide resources of education, recognition and funding for CNAs. We fight every day to get your stories told, to make America understand your hard work, your sacrifice, your life, and sadly at times, your death. We at NACA will not allow those who have given their lives to be shamed and blamed by others. They gave their lives in service to others and should be treated as war heroes lost in battle. In my mind, CNA Heroes is like a medal of honor and service, a purple heart to those who have died in the line of duty, CNAs. Pamela L. Hughes, age 50, became the first known healthcare worker in the state of Kentucky to die from on-the-job exposure to the virus. She worked as a CNA CMT at Signature Healthcare of Summit Manor in Columbia, Kentucky since 1988, 32 years at the same home. Pam's co-workers were like family, sadly, because there is no required reporting for employee COVID deaths for nursing homes. The nursing home staff found out from television news that their beloved co-worker had died. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir said, Hughes is believed to be the first healthcare worker in the state to die after contracting COVID-19 at work. He said her selfless service should be honored, and it is indeed. Pam dedicated her life to caring for others, Margaret Jones, a nurse at the facility said in a news release. Whether it be her patients, her coworkers, or her family, she strived to help however she could. She faithfully worked at Summit Manor for 32 years, rarely ever calling in sick. We all will fondly remember her beautiful smile and her generous nature. That is a quote from a nurse that she worked with. Survivors include her mother, one daughter, Bree, who you see in some photos with Pam, two brothers, four aunts, several nieces, nephews, cousins, other relatives, and a whole lot of friends. 
Pam, you have been a loyal, dedicated sustainer of life at this nursing home for 32 years. Your heart and compassion are second to none. Thank you for taking care of our nation's elders, even when it meant giving your own life. Fly high, beautiful soul. Everyone, please join me in honoring the work and celebrating the giving life of Pamela Hughes, CNA Hero.